Good morning and welcome to day 30. I'm currently climbing up an unnamed mountain on my way to Mount Success and it looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. The walk rocks are still wet from the rain they had here the other night but I'm just taking it slow and easy and I have these um, rebar steps to go up to right now. So they put these rebar steps into the slab rock which is kind of funny because it's just random and there's so many of these slab rocks that don't have them. So I just makes me wonder why they choose certain ones. I'm making my way up Mount Success and this is what the trail looks like so far. It hasn't been too bad. The rocks are smaller so you have a lot of step ups to help you get up there. And then it flattens out a little bit. So it's not that steep and it's a welcome relief. I'm coming across quite a bit of moose poop on my way up Mountain Success. I would love to see a moose, but I haven't seen any yet. I'm at the summit of Mountain Success, and these are my views. That's where I was yesterday. Out that way. And just like that, I'm crossing over into Maine. 282 miles to go. I have to say that New Hampshire, the views were beautiful. It was really tough hiking. It's probably some of the hardest I've done, but the most rewarding with the views and I'm happy to have it in my rear view mirror now. And I know from what I've heard that Maine, Southern Maine is even tougher than New Hampshire. So I'm ready for it. I think New Hampshire prepared me for what's yet to come. At least I hope. I'm currently making my way up Goose Mountain and there's several different peaks, but this is what the trail looks like right now. Very dense forest with the mossy rocks. There's been some steep slab rocks this morning with a lot of um, marshy areas when you get to the flat spots. You think you're going to make good time and then you're trying to keep out of the muck. My first view of Maine. Goose Mountain over there. Now that's where I'm heading. I just picked my way down that jumble of rocks. Welcome to Maine. I just popped out of the woods to these beautiful views of the mountains ahead. Okay, this is the next thing I have to go up. Woo wee! That's gonna be interesting. I made that. Now I have to scale these rocks and then go up there, up that ladder. Woo wee, this is hard at the end of the day. Just got done climbing both peaks of Goose Eye Mountain. These are the views from the East Peak. Looking back to the West Peak. This is looking towards New Hampshire. And then we'll go this way towards Maine. Have to head down that way to get to the shelter.
I've been coming down the backside of a goose eye and except for one steep rocky part, we've had these boards. Uh, and it's kind of funny because it's not really steep here. So I don't really get how they decide on where to put this stuff. But whatever, it's nice that it's here. Definitely helps. I mean, I can see the boggy areas, but some of those other spots aren't really that steep. But, oh well, take what you can get. I just came down from the top of Goose Eye, and now it looks like it flattens out for a little while here. And it goes up and over that way. So, we'll see. I'm almost to the shelter. Today was another hard day of hiking, which I don't want you to think that I'm complaining because I'm not. Um, I knew that my last leg of this journey on the AT was going to be tough. And I also knew that it was going to be the most rewarding with views. So I don't want you to get the wrong idea that I'm complaining that it's hard because I knew what I signed up for. But it is a challenge for me every single day. I'm not going to lie. And this is probably the hardest hiking I've ever done. But at the end of the day, I feel accomplished. And I'm so thankful that I have a body that can do this. I have learned one thing that I do have to give myself a little more grace because I'm used to knocking out 10 miles in, a, in like five hours. And now it takes me over 12 hours just to do five miles or to do 10 miles. So I'm not really used to that. But with the terrain the way it is, um, I have to realize that I'm not going to be able to do the miles that I'm used to. And that's okay. What's the rush? I mean, what can be better than looking at this at the end of your day? There's not a single soul around, just me. And I get to take all of this in. I just want to thank everybody at home for all your love, prayers, and support. It means the world to me. Keep them coming. Have a good night, everybody.